a merger uh, uh, Halliburton Baker's Hughes would create a company of about 67 billion that is a company that was once headed by the former US uh, president vice president Richard uh, Cheney and he would employ employ 140,000 people uh, and that would have its market market capitalization at uh, roughly 50% of Schamenberger. So it, it would be larger, but not larger. And we'll be uh, watching uh, these uh, developments to see actually where uh, they uh, end up uh, there with this particular uh, situation. Uh, let's get to Vladimir Putin. He's been talking about the sanctions. Uh, said U.S. and E.U. sanctions uh, will not harm Russia, but the global economy. That is him. The sanctions introduced uh, over the uh, situation in Ukraine and Crimea. So that has been a, a sore point uh, that he was uh, talking to uh, the Ecartas uh, newspaper there. Said it uh, would be pointless to raise the issue of, san- of sanctions at the summit. That was the uh, summit, uh, the Asian Pacific summit. They're adding sanctions also went against the principles of the uh, WTO as the World Trade Organization of there. And he also warned Germany that 300,000 jobs could be at risk if uh, there were uh, no contracts uh, with uh, Russia. Uh, this is uh, oil and gas. We started this out with oil and gas. Uh, the Interfax News Agency uh, quoted uh, Dmitry uh, Peskov uh, saying the Russian president would meet with the German Chancellor Merkel. Sanctions have uh, been imposed in several rounds of there. We've talked about these before in that uh, particular uh, conflict. So we'll see uh, more of that um, going on. We'll go now to the uh, Reuters uh, news uh, service and catch a couple of things with them as we sort of move around here on uh, this uh, particular report. Strong spending ahead for the holiday uh, frenzy. Uh, This is in the, obviously, the U.S. here. We'll check probably next week and see where the U.K. is in the uh, scheme of things. But nonetheless, most retailers report strong sales in October, sign American consumers back, which is 75% of the economy, economy of a data on uh, Friday showed consumer sentiment rising to a seven-year high this month. Also positive for spending, uh, a key measure of retail sales, which account for one-third of consumer spending, snapped back uh, from a uh, uh, sort of uh, different situation in September. Economists suggested fundamental strength even as the uh, Drop in gas prices, which we talked about there, uh, held a gain in sales to uh, three-tenths of a percent. Receipts at gas stations dropped uh, 1.5, but they only make pennies on the dollar. The key reading uh, strips out volume elements like gasoline, etc. The uh, boost... the gain, excuse me, uh, boasted the view that consumers are ready to play a bigger role, perhaps so. And uh, the Thompson Reuters November uh, consumer uh, spirits, uh, the uh, sentiment there rose to 89.4, its highest since 2007. That was before the Depression. Another component, however, showed uh, American expectation. Uh, for inflation fell, a uh, potent worrisome development of feds uh, there. The separately, the Department of State uh, data showed, uh, Labor Department, I'm sorry, uh, imports uh, fell, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 1.3 in September, slowing uh, economic growth outside the U.S., pushed oil prices down, uh, no doubt a boom for U.S. shoppers. Consumers are spending what they're saving at the pump. That is from Carmela Sutton, a currency strategist at uh, Scotty Bank in Toronto, Canada. The dollar has gained more than 10% uh, percent against currencies of U.S. trading partners. 
so this in itself is a uh, is a bright uh, feature. <coughs> the economy uh, was not so much front and center of the great fall elections here in the U.S. as perhaps it should have been, and many pundits are not talking about that. Uh, let's get to uh, the consumer center. We just had this uh, seven-year high. A little different story here. Uh, we just had that at the Thomson Reuters. Oops. Oh, well. Sometimes you can have more than one uh, particular mortgage rates. Uh, mortgage, excuse me, U.S. mortgage delinquencies fall to the lowest also. Good news for the housing uh, market. Late payments on uh, fell the third quarter to the lowest in seven years. That is from the Mortgage Bankers' latest delinquency survey. Uh, delinquency rate uh, decreased uh, to 5.85% on season-adjusted basis there. It has fallen six uh, consecutive quarters. The share of mortgages in foreclosure process at the end of the third quarter was 2.39%, down 10 basis points from the second quarter, and 69 basis points lower than one year ago. This was uh, the lowest foreclosure inventory rate seen since Q4 of 2007. So things are uh, getting uh, better, and they will continue uh, to moderate as long as uh, energy pricing is one of the really uh, impediments uh, to Americans because of the driving habits that have not uh, been around. Uh, let's get to this is Bloomberg. Let me get a little, few little things here. Labor and uh, community organized was meeting today uh, with uh, the Fed Chair Janice Yellen. Challenged officials who are ready to raise interest rates to come to uh, uh, their uh, low-income neighborhoods. Katie Sip, one of two dozen activists meeting, and this is very good that uh, Chair Yellen met with these people uh, here, and that uh, she would show uh, the Fed Chair, that's Charlie Posner, what life is like in this economy. Recently, Posner had hasn't been uh, coming uh, out our way that I work. Uh, she's with the Pennsylvania Working Families. I work on 60th Street in West Philly in a storefront office. Used to work in Philly. Number of groups met with her and uh, Stanley Fisher, who is the Vice Chair Jerome Powell, there are also a coalition of 20 of these out there. The Fed has been criticized uh, by uh, liberal uh, groups and conservative groups. It was Rescue Wall Street. The Yellen meeting uh, there uh, and her colleagues today included uh, individuals uh, struggling to... Uh, this is a, uh, a first and a very uh, good situation. Another speaker, C.C. Butler, an unemployed uh, woman from Washington said uh, she uh, recounted for well uh, Yellen, excuse me, how she's laid off from her job. The economy is not working for the vast majority of uh, people. Uh, Barkin uh, told reporters before the meeting in front of the Central Bank headquarters on the National Mall. Posner and Richard Fitcher of Dallas uh, both plan to retire next year. Fed up coalition uh, wants more public input to naming successors. The Philadelphia Fed has uh, hired an executive uh, search firm, Crone uh, Ferry International, and said today that the Los Angeles-based company has set up an email address to receive inquiries. It's uh, Philadelphia Fed President at at, uh, CoinFerris.com announced that it has hired also, this is the Dallas Fed, Hendrick and uh, Snuggles, international uh, to find a replacement for Fisher. They haven't put up a website so far. The unemployment rate has declined uh, to a six-year low, uh, but is high for disadvantaged groups. Of course, African Americans, no doubt about it. The rate was 10.9% in October, rose to a 26-year high of 
0.9%. Uh, that was the official rate in 2010. So we are seeing uh, many, many things uh, occur here and will obviously uh, continue uh, to occur uh, across the uh, board. So we'll be, as, as one will say, keeping our eye on these uh, particular situations. Let me go back and round up uh, Bloomberg here. Their report Consumer sentiment, we talked about that. We'll, we'll look at their article here. This is from uh, Reuters uh, there. Retailers should expect a good season. That's from Brian Jones. He's a senior economist at Societal uh, General. Uh, where sentiment projections of, of 89 uh, match the highest in the Bloomberg uh, survey. All about gas here, retail sales. Rebounded in October, they rose, uh, let's see, three tenths of percent uh, in uh, 11 of 13 major uh, categories. That's from the Department of Commerce. And the Bloomberg Consumer Comfort Index was the second highest since January of 2008. It was a week ending uh, November the 9th. Congress, uh, Conference Board, uh, Anyway, the labor market to here, employment on track to be the best uh, year in 15 is helping on the pin uh, situation here. Employers that added an average of 228,500 jobs. Economists surveyed uh, between the 12th and 7th and 12th. Projected the economy will add 225,000 jobs a month. They actually need to add uh, about uh, 350,000 to play the game of catch-up. Report from the Labor Department that was uh, showed the number of unemployed uh, varying for each available job is dropping. About uh, two jobless workers were pursuing each opening in September, fewer since 2008. Uh, bigger uh, wage increases are probably in store for Americans who are also finding relief at the gas pump. All around, I guess, consumer uh, expected inflation to be at 2.6 tenths. That's a f higher uh, five years from now. Well, that's five years from now. Uh, there. And the S&P has uh, gained 10.3% uh, uh, for the year through yesterday. Haven't even got to the Santa Claus uh, holiday yet. And long-term inflation expectations, as measured in the survey, are at the lower end of the range uh, than they've been in the past decade. This is from Ryan uh, Wang, uh, an economist at HSBC Securities in New York. So things are uh, are getting uh, better out there uh, from various information uh, brought in here we are seeing uh, things uh, moving along and also from I suppose what you call anecdotal information we we see uh, uh, those things are moving along also and let me look uh, very carefully here I was looking to see uh, if we could find uh, And it's not here. The meeting she had with uh, consumers, we'll, we'll get that into one of our uh, broadcasts or we'll make a uh, special broadcast to make sure that we get it in. And we, we, don't, uh, we don't see it uh, now at uh, the Fed in uh, their uh, recent uh, release here. Uh, well, let's see if we can... No, it's just not. Uh, it's not here today. Plus, let me check our time out here, and we're moving merrily along. We'll hear a little about the Affordable Care Act after we do the numbers. That is uh, from an economist that has in the, been in the news named Gerber. He's an economist at MIT. He is a healthcare economist. He's been at the. Uh, center of uh, this debate uh, that 
been having in uh, the U